Well, what a volatile day today um, coming out of Friday from the Silicon Valley Bank news. Uh, even today, Charles Schwab halted at 20% down, just providing a lot of movement. I decided to trade the ES because the ES typically moves about a fourth of what the NAS is moving. And I knew it was going to be volatile, but even the ES was just having 40 point rips, you know, every other candle or and whatnot. Um, so big, big moves today. Uh, sat out a lot of the day, but they ended up getting a couple trades and a couple call outs. We're going to go over that right now. So sit back and enjoy the recap. Friday ended up dumping with a lot of uncertainty about the Silicon Valley Bank. Um, and then last night, we get the news that depositors are going to be safe. There's still some uncertainty. Um, we get CPI tomorrow, which is going to be, I would assume, outrageous uh, volatility. I don't know what they're going to print, but I'm assuming it's going to be crazy. We get PPI. We get housing, jobless claims, and then sentiment. So it's a big week. Um, it's a, it would be a big week if all the banking stuff wasn't happening, but then you throw in all the banking stuff that happened on Thursday, Friday and bleeding over. Um, it's just a big one. So to me, I'm going to be watching the ES today, potentially all week, mostly because I want that smaller beta um i don't want as much movement as i do on the nas right now given the fact that i'm anticipating it being very volatile so we'll see what this open brings us but like i said i am just like i don't know this week um gives me the spooks so we'll see what happens got a 500 600 block at 40. seems like 42 is trying to be held up here but interesting Wow, a 10 point kick up off 42. See, that's what I'm trying to get to. That, what I just described of seeing 42 play out, that's what I'm trying to get to where I feel confident taking a trade like that, but I'm not there yet at all. But I wanna get better with quote unquote reading the tape, seeing the buyer step in at 42 and being able to execute on it for 10 points with like zero pullback hardly. Look at this 24 and a half seller. Give him another shot. Let's see 21 and a half. There's 21 and a half getting traded. And maybe I should do a, a video today, a YouTube short on looking at blocks on the Dom. There's 24 and a half as magnets because we're getting a lot of them today. And they're pretty clean. That's new highs on the day. 26 getting traded. Taking a short here. I'm out on new highs on the day. I mean, I probably should do this, right? Actually open it up a little bit to the best of my ability. And I should probably honestly do this as well. All right, my trade is break even at this point. So I'm not gonna lose any money on this trade. Um, I would like to hopefully see this thing melt a little bit back down to like 900, but I'm not gonna lose any money. And I feel good with the short entry. So just kind of trying to be patient with it. Um, at this point, it will do whatever it wants to do. It will either pump up and stop me out break even or it will melt a little bit and i'll get a nice little trade out of it um i like the exit i think if we push this again like we're probably gonna make new highs again but i could see us rolling over at least a little bit um at least it down to like 08 but might not happen might just get stopped out right now i don't know we'll see but i like my entry um i'm right with all those sellers that i was talking about um so i like my entry We'll see this is a great example of what i was talking about of like i feel like the trade has to be immediately in my favor and if it's not like i don't really want to be a part of it and this trade was immediately in my favor but i probably get stopped out here unfortunately stopped out i think i was up 400 bucks um i really wanted to see us slap into these lower wicks and then me taking the break even stop there it looks like we still held here not a ton of buyers in this area it feels like mostly still sellers in this area I think I probably still hold here, but I'm not willing to uh, not have a break even stop and watch this thing pump 10, 15 points immediately. Not worth, especially counter trend. 